But at the end of the day, you're going to be calibrated to whatever you're focused to. So remind yourself, instead of thinking, replace thinking with focusing and see how much more powerful you are overnight in your vibration, in your choosing, and also the clearer you are, because it's a step closer to the I am. Focus yourselves on the frequency or principle of universal love and acceptance. That vibration or strength of love, which is both beyond the phenomena of the world, of the universe, as well as holding it within its vastness, within its embrace. aware of the suffering, of the calling, but not so personally engaged that your vibration gets swallowed up in what you observe. Because in order to be of aid, you wish for your vibration to take on the tone of what you wish to offer, not to what you wish to offer it to. So there's a certain focus or discipline required calibration an awareness and alertness and intentionality. When we, so to speak, take that love and make it available to humanity or any creature or recipient. So that we can gaze upon the recipient of this love, but where our own frequency is more immersed in the gift than the one to be gifted to. even feel a field of love around this entire planet that's available to this entire planet, yet at the same time not off this planet, not born from it. This position of strength, of love, of balance, is one you likely want to adopt 
to yourself, towards yourself as well. Towards your personal life experiences, the people that you meet and so forth. Holding this universal feeling of acceptance and love for anything that passes through. Noticing what's passing through, but as if on the horizon, like a flock of birds that flies across the sky in the distance, not really affecting the sky, not really demanding your vibration to match that which appears, but you're aware of it. You're aware of the call. You're aware of the need, the desire for love, for healing. But you are that which you intend to give vibrationally. You abide in that which you are gifting because you can only gift what you are currently resonating with or to. You're always gifting something. If you want to know what you are gifting, check in with yourself what you are calibrated to vibrationally, what your focus is on. And what is the quality, the flavor of this consciousness that you're currently emitting? And then you train yourself in maintaining a finer, subtler awareness of this strength of love, this principle of the universal embrace or compassion, which again includes your own human apparatus, your own personality. And throughout the day, you can make a commitment now to spend less time thinking and more time focusing. There's a difference. Thinking is the scattered echoes that you hear in response to what you are focusing to or on or from. What you are vibrationally inundated with at this moment will produce the thoughts that you hear or see or feel. So again, there's much greater free will possible and a much greater sense of freedom, liberation, and power available on that deeper level of focus that is prior even to the thoughts that appear. So just a few seconds of deliberate refocusing on a frequency of your chosen intention, be it love or light, or power or freedom, or the one. Cuts through a whole series of thoughts that just suddenly kind of disappear. It's like they cannot quite reach you because you are now focusing. So naturally your attention is no longer producing the frequency that was producing the scattered thoughts. It is now being phoned, it is now being gathered, it is now being directed by the will 
And as a result, the thoughts kind of stop. And all you're aware of is what you're focusing to. And that can produce new kinds of thoughts or different levels of thoughts, if you will, with more deliberate qualities to it. But at the heart of it, you discover this ability to focus, which is much more productive, significantly more productive in terms of your spiritual evolution, as well as the gift that you are giving to this world all the time, than thinking. Because you know all the concepts. There's so many of them, both worldly and spiritually. But at the end of the day, you're going to be calibrated to whatever you're focused to. So remind yourself, instead of thinking, replace thinking with focusing and see how much more powerful you are overnight in your vibration, in your choosing, and also the clearer you are, because it's a step closer to the I am than thinking. So you'll also feel subtler, you'll feel more free in your interior space, you'll feel closer to your source, to your essence. And you'll be able to therefore receive more rather than put more stuff into the field. You'll be able to hear better, you'll be able to feel better. You'll be able to know clear with less need for reasoning or speculation. Just because of the streamlining nature of focusing instead of thinking. Doesn't even so matter, doesn't even so much matter what you are focused to. Of course, pick something positive or holistic. However, even just the state of focus itself is already liberating from the scattered energies that wreak havoc on the body and your creations. When thinking is allowed to be entirely unrestrained. And it's fine to accept all that arises. We shouldn't attempt to control our thoughts so much, but we can control our focus. We can train our focus and that will automatically naturally streamline our thinking, make them holistic and coherent to source, to our inner being, to everything we've placed in our vortex, both collectively and individually. So we take on a more channeling, modality or energetic shape, if you will. We become more like a vessel instead of a human being or a human apparatus. And our frequency rises. Even if all you're focused on is an apple. Because as soon as you're focused on an apple, if you're really in a state of focusing, your vibration is already going to streamline itself, which means suddenly you'll start getting new glimpses inside that focus and your focus shifts from the apple to the beauty of the apple before you know it. And then when you're focused to the beauty of the apple, suddenly you get feelings of appreciation for every element in your life, all because you chose to focus instead of think. So the more we focus ourselves deliberately, the more we bump up our alertness, our awareness, deliberately, not controlling anything, just being deliberate, just directing it, just infusing it with greater will and direction, intention. We already are that much closer to our soul frequency. And therefore, it's going to be much easier to enter into positive streams of thought and appearances and manifestations and so forth. Our vibration begins to develop an aligned momentum that's not scattered or distracted as much by our rampant, random, scattered thinking. So again, bottom line, make a commitment that when you catch yourself lost in thoughts, 
you choose to simply replace thinking with focusing is very simple. You're either thinking or you're focusing. If you're not focusing, you're thinking. And you're not really aware of what's going on. You're just kind of like mm -hmm. being taken for a spin down memory lane. Even if all you're observing is your present environment, it's still the echoes of memory lane. So you're either in the past, which has crystallized physically as your present, but it is nevertheless your past. So either you are thinking, which means you're in the past, or you are focusing, which means you're actually in future presence. And it's not that hard, is it? Just a reminder, noticing that you're thinking and you go, oh, wait a second. You could even be thinking things that may seem very important or valuable. You may even be thinking about focusing. And what's the best way maybe to focus? And what would be the best thoughts to have? But again, if you're thinking, it likely means you're not focusing yourself. You're not tuning yourself. You're not calibrating yourself. You're not gathering your will. You're not being self-aware. You're not being intentional. And that's okay. But just notice the difference, the flavor of thinking versus focusing. It's, it's so much better to be focusing. Doesn't, again, doesn't even matter what it is. You could have very positive, wild thoughts, but still focusing yourself. There's an element to it that always feels better than thinking. And again, thoughts will arise even when you're focusing, depending a little bit on the intensity of your focus the object of your focus, the momentum of your focus. So it's not like there won't be any thoughts, but the thoughts will take on the shape of your focus. Because your focus generates the vibration. And the vibration reveals the thoughts that exist at that vibration, like the tunes that are being played on the radio station right now. You don't hear them if you're not focused to them. They're not really your thoughts and images. They exist, they are revealed based on the frequency your focus is accessing. So if you don't feel good, if you don't feel aligned, you are most likely lost in thinking. And you forgot that you could replace thinking with focusing. And instantly you'll feel better, even for two to five seconds. Boop. A moment of remembrance, a moment of deliberate intention. Do that enough times in a row within say one hour, but even shorter. If you do two to five seconds, a few times per minute for like 10 minutes, you're gonna be experiencing a much deeper streamlined momentum in your focus and the thoughts will lessen and the strength of your will will become apparent to you. And then you again feel that you're actually co-creator that you're actually harnessing all the time, calling towards yourself all the time, the creative loving forces of this creation, simply by focusing. And then from there, you can just bump it up, focusing on unconditional love. If you can sort of grasp that sense or concept intuitively can focus on the entire universe or on the beauty in an apple. It again, doesn't really matter that much because the more you're deliberately focusing and you're allowing for that space to build some momentum, some clarity, some crispness, some vividness, some lucidity, some awakeness, that awakeness is gonna teach yourself automatically because then you're actually in tune with your higher self. And so, you'll become more and more in tune with your higher self. And then again, naturally, what you focus on will just be inspired. You won't have to come up with something to focus on. It'll just be a natural flow of imagination and focus that more and more takes on the transparency to God, to the one creator. And as a result, you'll feel better emotional guidance system will let you know 
that it enjoys your present focus more than your previous focus. It's that simple. So don't try to quiet your mind too much or control your thoughts. Just regrasp, remember your ability to focus. And then the inside and quietude or spaciousness will follow. And if you then, having built some momentum in your clarity, in that crisper, more alert, not contracted alert, open alert space of consciousness, being more aware of its own power, its own ability to be aware of itself, to focus, then also feelings of faith will increase because your frequency rises to the occasion of your deeper self, your higher self. And also you can then combine this deliberately with faith, be it in a particular intention or desire or calling that you feel from this place, an inspiration perhaps. And then as soon as that inspiration is felt and acknowledged, received, if you will, like the gift of God is received through your slightly heightened focus, your greater calibration to your inner self, then you'll be receiving the station of pure frequencies, which we typically call inspirations instead of like motivations, for instance. So when you feel inspired, then you can drop that right into that focused space with the affirmation or conviction that it is already given that the moment you receive it, it's actually already delivered. It's already established. It's already done. So you can then live in that feeling state, maintain focus for a while in the accomplished feeling of that inspiration. Then you're quite literally launching creations out there from your place of focus and receptivity and faith. And you will also get feelings of universal love. And you will launch those rockets of completed realities into the field, into the collective. You'll be helping people that will never even know you exist. And you will never know they exist, not with your conscious mind, not as a concept or name, but you will know in this state of faith and focus and power and accomplishedness, like releasing the already accomplished version of it, the doneness of it, you will feel the power of it. You will feel that it has a ripple effect on the collective. You will feel that it is helping someone somewhere dealing with the topic, that this is exactly the solution they are seeking. And you're making it that much easier for them to pick up on that frequency of the solution to their request. So you're entering the calling just naturally through focus, receptivity, and that powerful conviction that it's done your calibration to the end game of that desire or inspiration, your feeling of the wish fulfilled. So then there's no yearning. The more we practice this, the more the period of yearning in between the desire being understood or acknowledged or received and the feeling of completion with it, that time window will shrink more and more. And sometimes it won't be there at all. 
especially the inspirations that don't have a lot of personal charge or lack beliefs for you around it. There's not any conditioning that you have. There's no limiting beliefs you have about it. There's no pressure on it having to happen or not. Those especially will not even have any time frame. You'll receive the inspiration from your inner self and immediately you'll feel the gift of it already accomplished. You'll feel what it feels like already completed, whether or not it has any manifestation to it physically. It doesn't matter. You will feel that it is complete. You will feel the fulfillment of it. And then it will take shape in reality, either for you or for someone else, depending on what the nature, the gravitational nature was of that inspiration, whether it has to do with self or other self. But it shall manifest somewhere, somehow, also physically. And love also manifests. Love also has manifestations. So if we learn to tune ourselves, to focus ourselves, to remind ourselves, to focus on the already completed love that is contained in each moment, we're attuned to the completion of perfect love already present in this moment with exactly every element as it is. Free to change at the drop of a hat, but perfect as it is. then that love will find manifestation as well, physically. And the earth just loves that frequency. The earth soaks it up like a sponge. When you are tuned to the love that's already present here on this physical plane, and you bring that non-physical completed love to your focus of this planet, this field, it soaks it up. It heals instantly. It's one of the main reasons you came here. It's just to do that unconsciously for the most part, but even more powerful if done deliberately and with greater and greater focus, purity of coherent attention. And you'll feel freer. You you won't feel as human. Like I don't have anything against you know the concept of being human, but you'll feel different. You'll feel more elevated within your own strength, your power, your clarity. You will know that your power, and so you will see through the victim illusion that most of mankind is living with to some degree. So remember the power of focusing. Even before you choose what to focus on. Because when you try to choose what to focus on, you're coming from thinking. And chances are, it's not that pure or high or aligned. And it's, it's going to be distracting. So first focus on focusing. Doesn't matter what it is, could be the pen in front of you. Just get into that state of focusing, change from thinking, catch yourself, oh, I'm thinking conceptualizing. Let me bring that to that more coherent state of just focusing. You'd call it concentration in a way. But focusing feels a little more open, a little more gentle. And then when you start focusing, you will notice a vibrational coherence begins to build some momentum, streamlines itself. It feels different. You feel, in a sense, in control instead of out of control. You feel on top of your experience instead of underneath your experience. 
you feel more connected to the present instead of just kind of lost in time-bound concepts. So when that begins to develop some clarity, some momentum, now you'll be receptive enough to allow your higher self to guide this focusing now on higher principles, a more expansive universal state of love, for instance, or compassion, or the empowerment of all beings, or the abundance for all, or even something personal to you, it doesn't matter, it's also beautiful, something that you really desire. But start with focusing. So you can feel yourself, you know, when you're focused, when you're in a state of being focused, you can actually feel and hear your inner sense of self. You can actually feel your own presence. If you're thinking, you're not really feeling your own presence. It feels better to be focused than to be thinking. It's that simple. And then if you apply focusing for just short moments, repeated many times, in a relaxed fashion, deliberate, but no pressure to get anywhere with it, just enjoying focusing for the sake of enjoying focusing. Then it really starts to just build momentum and you start to gain greater free will, greater strength. As Ra calls it, discipline of the personality or the disciplined personality. Just through will, just through deliberate moments of focusing instead of thinking. You become more tuned to your higher self, less of a separate confused person and more naturally disciplined. And it's juicy, it's enjoyable. It has a, it has a liquidity to it, like a, a flavor, like a stream of, just like this river streaming through your brain. Instead of thinking, which is like, quite tiring and exhausting. Thinking is scattered, typically. Focusing is streamlined, it's unified. And from a unified state, we are receptive to the inner voice, the inner wisdom. From a scattered state, we cannot receive it. So I suppose that's the message of this particular talk. When you catch yourself thinking, replace it with focusing instead. And watch what happens. Just enjoy it. Don't even try to get anywhere. All you're doing is you're choosing to focus instead of think and watch where it takes you naturally. And watch our things will also then begin to manifest at an accelerated pace. Because focus is much closer to the vibration of faith than thinking is. And through faith, all things are accomplished. So focus your way into faith, which equals bliss, which equals enlightenment in many ways. And it's so cool that you don't even have to decide what to focus on so much. It's just about focusing and then letting it have you, enjoying it as it takes you higher, as that river-like stream that runs through your body, that feels soothing and like a loose yet thick liquid stream begins to enhance its potency, its power, and you start to get a sense of the universe and all that, but it just happens. You're just calibrating. That's all you're doing. Just focusing.
and call it remembering too.